Jake Makes a World, Jacob Lawrence, An Artist in Harlem, by Sharifa Rhodes Pitt, and illustrated by Christopher Myers. In the morning, Jake watches the sun wake up. He makes a big stretch, and the sun stretches too. With first light, the dancing dark shadows begin to fade. Then the colors come again. Yellow, orange, and blue on the quilt that covers Jake and his brother's bed. Mother's paper flowers in pink and red. His feet sink deep into the thick blue rug. When his toes touch the ground, it's like the sky upside down. When Jake moved to this city, this New York, to the neighborhood called Harlem, to live with mother again, these familiar things from his old home in Philadelphia greeted him like long-lost friends. Outside Jake's building, men play chess and checkers, balancing their boards on their knees. Older boys sell fruit from a wagon, or ice from a bucket shouting for people to come down and get it. Mothers walk fast to work and more work. Signs promise home-cooked meals for 15 cents and shoe shine to make you brand new. A preacher in a hat shouts and sings about God. A newsboy tells the stories of the day from downtown and around the world, but tells them with a tune. At the corner, a short man stands on a stepladder, telling everybody how we will get the freedom we need. Most days after school, Jake goes to a place called Utopia Children's House. The word Utopia means that it is a special place, unlike any other. For Jake, it is. At Utopia House, Jake makes things with his hands. He carves a block of soap into a fish. He sews scraps of leather into a secret pouch. With watercolors, he swirls the shadows that dance on his wall at dawn and the patterns of the rugs in his living room. Jake takes a stick of charcoal and draws a pair of eyes to see everything the people on the street see. He draws one pair of ears to hear all the shouts and songs, one mouth to carry all their voices. All the faces Jake sees on the street become one face. Jake shows this new face to his teacher who smiles and nods and says, you should see this very old mask from Africa. Jake stares at the mask for a long while and then he makes his own mask from brown paper bags and glue and paint. When he is done, the mask smiles at him. Jake takes a shoebox, and in the box he tries to fit the whole street. Inside are cardboard chessmen, tiny boys folded from construction paper, and mothers walking fast to work, wearing dresses cut from magazines. He stacks the matchboxes to make buildings and paves the street with sandpaper. Jake has made a world, a small piece of this place called Harlem. It is now his home. Jake's Harlem has all the shouts and songs and notes of the Harlem outside. But here they are not sounds, they are colors, they are shadows dancing. They are rhythms. They are light. <laughs>